All right, so we all have used bold.new quite extensively and it is like a cool AI coding tool where you can go ahead and give simple text prompt and convert it into advanced web apps in Next.js, React or any other framework or library, right? So bold.new has a free plan, but even then it is a paid software and the plan starts at $20 per month for about 50, 25 million or 50 million tokens, right? Now, what if I tell you, you can go ahead and access all the cool features of bold.new on a similar website but without paying for anything. I'm talking about bold.diy, which is an open source version of bold.new where you can go ahead and bring your own API key and connect with any LLM of choice from Anthropic, OpenAI, Google Gemini, DeepSeek, etc. and start using it for free. And today in this video, I will show you how you can set up and use bold.diy locally on your machine, like installing it, grabbing your API key and start using it right away. And one more thing is that if you can get an API key for free, for example, let's say from Google Gemini free plan or DeepSeek or any other providers, you can use Bolt for completely for free without paying anything. Now, if that sounds interesting, let's jump straight in. All right, so the first thing that you gotta do is to open a web browser and simply type bolt.diy and hit enter or click the first link in the description below and it will redirect you to the GitHub page of bolt.diy. Now, this is the GitHub repository. I mean, I already told you the bolt.diy, it's like an open source project and you can find all the code and everything in here. And the first thing that you gotta do is to visit bolt.diy and if you scroll down, you'll be able to find the installation instructions, okay? Now, there's a couple of different ways you can install the same on your computer you can do it with docker or without docker and i'm going to show you the most easiest way to do the same next up i need to create a new folder so go ahead and create a new folder somewhere on your computer so i'll go ahead and name it bolt diy okay now i have a folder set up the next step is to open terminal so i'll go ahead and open terminal okay like this and i'll cd into my folder or okay desktop and then cd bolt diy so basically you have to go and select the particular folder that you created right now and next up if you scroll all the way up you will find a button that says code simple click on this one and you will find click on this https option and all you gotta do is to click on this icon here to copy this url to clone the github repo next step i'll go ahead and open terminal and type git clone and then press Control V or Command V to paste that particular URL that you copy right now. And you can press Enter and it will go ahead and clone that particular repository to the folder that we selected. And as you can see, we have successfully cloned that repository to our computer. And if this Git uh, command is not working for you, you'll have to set up Git on your computer. So go ahead and search for Git on Google, go to the website and install and set it up on your computer, okay? And now once you have cloned the repository, if you go ahead and open that bold.diy folder, you will find a new folder called bold.diy and inside of it, you will have all these files. And the next step is that we have to open this this particular folder that is bolt.diy and to do so all i gotta do is to type cd bolt.diy and i should be in that folder right here as you can see and now if you scroll down you will find more installation instructions in this page itself and next up all you gotta do is to install the pnpm package manager install all the project dependencies and start the development server and if you want to you can go ahead and use pnpm but if you have npm that's also fine so i'll go ahead and open terminal and i'll go ahead and simply type npm installed so basically this npm install command will go ahead and install all the project dependencies into the folder that we selected so depending on your internet speed it will take some time so let's wait till it is done all right so as you can see npm installation command is done and all the project dependencies should be up and live uh, by now and the last step is to run the development server and another important thing to note before starting the application is that you will have to download and use chrome canary for local development so it won't work in google chrome is what they say and all you gotta do is to click on this uh, option that says download it here and it will take you to the chrome canary page and click on this icon right here download the installer and install it on your computer and chrome canary is available for both windows and mac os so that's not an issue so i have already downloaded and installed chrome canary on my machine and the last thing that is left for us to do is to run npm run dev to start the development server and wait for a few seconds and the url will appear in here so it says okay we have the local development url in here so i'll go ahead and copy this particular url and make sure you keep this terminal window running right here okay otherwise your application won't start and next up i'll just go ahead and open canary that is uh okay google chrome canary so let's wait for it to open all right so i have chrome canary running and i'll go ahead and paste the url in here 
click on enter and that should start bold.diy locally on our machine and as you can see we have bold.diy completely set up on a computer and if you open terminal you'll be able to find that we have a lot of different uh, providers and all that and all other information you can find it in the terminal and for the first time when you open this uh, bold.diy you won't find the option to enter the api key so all you gotta do is to simply reload the page once and you should be able to find the option to select the llm provider the model and also set up the api key now the cool thing about bold.diy is that it lets you select and use whatever llm that you want for example if you want to use cloud 3.5 sonnet you can go ahead and grab your anthropic api key and start using it right here okay and now let's say you want to use uh uh, let's say open ai gpt 40 so all you got to do is to select open ai then select gpt 40 and you can add your api key and similarly if you want to use bold.diy for free then you can go ahead and if you can grab an api key for free or there are a lot of providers that provide a free plan for example you can select uh, google from here and you can grab an api key from google for free right so you can go ahead and click on this one select the model and enter the api key in here and for example let's say you want to use google gemini model for this one all you gotta do is to go ahead and search for uh, gemini api key on google and click the first link and it will take you to google ai uh, page and you can click on this option that says get gemini api key in google ai studio and it should open up a page where you can grab your api key now if, you, if this is your first time you only got to do is to click on this create api key option and a pop-up will appear you can select the project and create your api key oh, where is it okay you can select a project and create the api key but i have already created one so i'll go ahead and click on this one and copy the api key and now if i head back to uh, let's say bolt uh, bolt.diy i can select let's say google and as for the model let's put it as uh, 2.0 flash and i can click on this option right here okay so this pencil icon and i can paste my api key so i have pasted my api key click on this tick button and my api key is now successfully added as easy as that and now you can go ahead and start using it to develop whatever kind of application that you want to and essentially you are getting to use bold.new like all the cool features that is available within bold.new for free locally on your machine and now let's say you want to try a different api key for example let's say you want to do open ai so you can go to platform.openai.com and you can okay let me quickly log in once i'm logged in i'll click on the settings icon go to api keys create a new secret key let's put bolt select a random project click on create secret key and i can go ahead and copy my api key from here head back to bolt.diy select uh, open ai then i'll put it as gpt40 and paste my api key in here click on save all right so that's all i gotta do and now we have bold.diy completely set up and you can go ahead and start developing applications with it now the main intention of this video is to show you how to set up bold.diy or locally on your machine and not about the application that we are about to develop for demonstration purpose i'll simply go ahead and create let's say a simple to-do app so i'll go ahead and say create a simple to-do app and i'll go ahead and click on the send option now it will use open ai api key to sort of set up the project, write code, run the preview and all that. And if you look at it, you'll quickly realize that the UI of bold.diy is exactly the same as bold.new, okay? So you have the uh, code editor to the right side and you have the project uh, files to the left side of the code editor you have a preview option so once the ai has is done writing all the code you can click on the preview option and view the preview and towards the left side you can find the chat interface where you can go ahead and give follow-up prompts and all that okay and now bolt is done writing the code and here we have a simple to-do app done and ready so you can go ahead and let's say task one add task two add okay and as you can see we don't have the option to delete these tasks or edit it right so i can go ahead and give follow-up prompt and let's say add the option to delete tasks and also uh, mark them as complete and hit enter and now let's say and now the ai will go ahead and rewrite the code and will give us the all the features that we asked for so let's wait for a few seconds and it seems like uh, the ai has added all these features that we asked for and if i go to the preview tab again i should be able to uh, delete and add new task as you can see i can mark it as completed using this checkbox right here and if i want to i can click on the delete option to delete the task as well so that's how simple and easy it is to set up bold.diy 
locally on your machine and use your own API key or LLM providers. And as for the providers, you have a bunch of different options like Amazon Bedrock, Anthropic, DeepSea, Google Grok, or custom models from Hugging Face, LM Studio Mistral, OpenAI, Open Router, Perplexity, XAI, a lot lot more and if you want to attach images uh, or any other resources you also have options for that as well you can click on this attachment option and attach images and use it for the prompt and if you want to you can also go ahead and start speech recognition on this as well and next up if you want to clone a github repo and add it to bolt.diy and start editing it you can click on this option that says connect a github repo and you can go ahead and enter the url in here and if you want to import a folder that is within your computer you can click on this import folder option and select the particular folder folder and if you want to import chat you have options for that as well and as bold.new it also supports all these pro uh, frameworks and libraries like astro next remix Svelte, view react next.js and whatnot so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video uh if you want to if you don't really want to pay for bold.new but want to access all the cool features it has to offer and create apps locally within your machine using your preferred llm or uh, ai model all you gotta do is to head over to bold.diy and follow the steps that I shown you and you can to install and set up bold.diy locally on your machine and if you're using a free API key you can do the entire application development process for free and that's pretty much all about it. So hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.